As do this, I like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth, yeah. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Oh, let's dance! Feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You <laughs> cracker box. My spice temple ruined! I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire! This place is mine! Here I am king! Come, face me, Cooper! With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power! You are nothing! Come face the might of Rajan, lord of these hills! Boy! When we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up.
Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, fly! I'm coming, buddy! This is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours? The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. <laughs> Dispatch this fool. Half of the clockwork heart, safe and sound. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Mila. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper! You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela! Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! <laughs> Heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay.
That I belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy, and more fun, to pry it from your cold, dead hand. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! Do what you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind.
You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. <laughs> got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. If you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. You okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges, I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a night out and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid 
We turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Bissad. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. I don't know which lever I should pull. Sizzle is gizzle. Yep. Cook him. Flame him. Flames. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Flames. Flames. All right. Logs. Ten four. Let him go. On it. Fire! Saws! Saws! How's that? Saw blades! Okay. Saw blades! Fire! There you go. Fire! Saws! How's that? Flame up! On it. Eat dynamite, turtle! Saws! Saws! All right. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Broad. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! For once, let's cut the flirty chit chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit chat? That should get her attention.
I'm coming, guys. Hold on. I'm scared, Sly. Hurry. still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have the immortality of pure hate, but I feel something, some power growing within me. Watch out! That thing's still kicking. Clockla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bomb. There we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. 
Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand, the hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kinda clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon.